How do you do Java? This and this video, I'm gonna teach you three way to model grass tiles in Revit, and we will render it with Enscape. And each of them has their problems and cons. And let's review them. The first phase and the easiest way is to just create a floor and copy it at the same level. For example, I have this boundary in here, and then I need to uh, bring some areas uh, out from this uh, place that I have, and then we can uh, do our work. For example, let's go and we need to create a rectangle in here, for example, and with the uh, space that you need, and then you need to copy it. For example, let's copy some of them. Oh, and as you see, it's really time consuming to create uh, these kind of grass stars with this way. And then again, you need to copy these in uh, columns and in rows and it is really time consuming. Let's say we've uh, modified the boundaries and this is okay. I'm not going to create all of these. In here, let's click on finish and let's see uh, what we will get. And then to have the tiles, for example, this part's going to be grass and this part's going to be tiles. So I need to select them and let's uh, go to the uh, modify tab in here, click on copy to clipboard and align to same place and in the second one click on edit boundary and then we need to delete the outer edges and uh, because uh, the grass will be higher so we need to make the thickness of these floors a little bit higher or we need to give them an offset for example maybe five centimeter to bring them up and then that's the uh, model that we need and then we need to assign a grass material to here this is grass and for this one I'm going to put it on maybe concrete tile let's say this is great let's just bring it in click on ok and click on ok and let's see it in Enscape and the result will be something like this and now there is a problem with the material you can see the scale is too, really too small and we have some problems when you create this kind of uh, floors sometimes the edges wouldn't be that great because when you create edges in here especially if you would have a uh, longer grass you would have problem in uh, edges for example let me show you the, the render that i have in here you can see the edges are a little bit bad and you can see that at the edges we have less grass and it is a little bit bad so uh, the, uh, the cons of this uh, method is we can say it's time consuming and it will be really heavy if you would have a big uh, area to do something like this. So we need to find an alternative to model it um, uh, accurately and in a better way. The, ver uh, the better way, in my opinion, would be using panels and using mass. How we can do that? Let's learn it. But before show you the way that you can create, let me show you some of the results that we can get with paneling. Uh, for example, we can get these results in seconds after creating our panel. And also there is a problem in panels. Uh, comment down below if you would guess it right now. But afterwards, I will tell you the problem. But uh, comment down below if you would understand the problem in here. And also there is a animation from that part and also the, another uh, uh benefit of this way is you can use create a one panel and you can create uh you can make it parametric you can analyze different alternatives for example this is a, a square panel or rectangular panel but i've used it as a diagonal panel really easily and also sh uh, let me show you this uh movie in here you can see it is really parametric and you can use other panels like zigzag panel and also all of the panels that we have and also after this we will analyze another way to for example you can see i've created a face in here and then let's go to the edit plane in place of it you need to go to the massing and soil and just create a simple face in here and then select it and convert it to divide surface and then the next step is to create the panel for it to do that you need to go to the file menu and in the new panel and let's go to the family and in here let me go to the metric curtain for a panel and in this family we have to create a family let me show you the family first and then we will create the family by ourselves let me place it on family one 
in here and let me place it on something like smaller dimensions maybe 20 by 20 you can see it is fully parametric and this is the panel and let's see the results uh, we will see the results in Enscape afterwards but you saw the movie let me let's go to the uh, to the edit table of one of these families now we can see our family has two parts the grass part and the tile part to do that you need to create a point in each side for example let me create a uh, or you can uh, create a line between these two diagonal lines between these two and also another diagonal line between these two and then just select them and let's convert them to reference line and let's place four points in here and then you need to see the normal curve parameter and if they are uh, higher than uh, 0.5 you need to put the measure from on and because I need to I want to assign a number to all of them and they need to be at uh, one parameter and the, this one let me select this one this is on 85 so let me put it on end and now let's select all of them and let's create a grass parameter and grass margin for this to do that let's go to the normal curve parameter and let's create a um, parameter which is going to be our grass and I need, to, I need it to be a type parameter. Let's click on OK and OK. Let's create lines between these four lines in here. Select them and use a spline through point. Now we are good to go. Let's select all of them. Let's convert them to reference line. And let's create an extrusion in here. Let me create an extrusion in here. I don't want the face. Let's click create on form. And let's create an extrusion in here. It gone uh, backwards. So let me bring it up. And also let's set uh, our work plan in here and let's create a dimension in this side to control the tile thickness that we will have in here and let's create a parameter for it and it's going to be a type parameter that's great and also we want to create a face for grass because Enscape will uh, do the thickness of the grass um, uh, automatically so we can uh, create it with a phase 2 and it will be much better but the tip is here you don't you don't have to create your grass in these parts only because we will we will have that uh, edge problem so I need to create a face at the bottom of the tile and it needs to be spreaded all over the place let's create on create form and let's create a surface in here and I want this kind of surface you can see it is overlapping but that's not the problem and let's select this one and let's create a, a material parameter for it and let's call it grass and let's select this part and let's create a material parameter for, for it which is gonna be our tile click on ok and then you can bring it in your family and bring it in your project and then you can assign a device surface to your project and for example this one I've assigned a 45 grade rotation and now then you go to the uh, edit type you can assign the uh, materials in here and then you're good to go click on finish and now let's go to the endscape and let's see our result for our second approach you can see it's great guys and it is uh, normally much better than the first one but if you didn't guess the problem with this uh, one you can see if you would go upper and you would see from the for example maybe a uh, bird eye you can see because all of them are just one element the UV will be repeated for example if you would see the texture in here it will be repeated in here but for the first one and for the you can say old way it is not that way because I've created all of them in just one floor element and the UV will be uh, and texture will be extended to all of the areas and the repetition will be much lower but if you would create some renderings like this let me show you something like this your audience and even yourself wouldn't understand it if you wouldn't pay much attention or if you would choose another uh, camera angle so you can uh, accept it if you are uh, gonna use these uh, benefits of this way and the third way is similar to second way and the only difference though we don't create the grass in panel and we are going to use a uh, checkboard the only difference is you need to go to the family uh, that you have and in here you need to select your pattern and you need to put it on checkboard for example put it on 
diagonal checkboard and let's create a fast checkboard too. Let's select this one and let's create a form and let's give, let's give it the extrusion and let's set our work plane in here and let's create our tile thickness and let's load it to our family, to our project. And in here, just select your surface and assign the checkboard family that you've created. These are really too thick, so let me go to the thickness of them. And let's call it, let's put it on maybe six centimeter, click on OK. And also in here, because we have a face underneath of it, you, you need just to create a floor or face underneath of it. And then you need to assign the grass to the floor or the face underneath of it. And you don't need to put it in your uh, uh, pattern and you, you will have more flexibility on this and it will give you another form of grass style because sometimes they are not uh, grass margins, they are grass checkpoints. For example, one will be tile and one will be your uh, grass style. For example, let's see it in Enscape and you can get uh, this kind of effect with this way and with the checkboard way. For example, you can give it a rotation. And also, as I said, you can use zigzags too. For example, let's see the zigzag pattern that I've used. Let's click on finish. Let's go to Enscape. You can see it is really great, guys. If this video was helpful for you, please don't forget to like this video to help YouTube reach this video to more people. And if you want to learn how to create realistic render for grasses, make sure to watch this video. And I will put the link in the description. Go there and get 10 free Enscape assets.